Hello YouTube, this is Eli, the OBD Tech. I'm here working on a 2005 GMC Envoy with the 4.2 liter engine. This vehicle was brought due to a check engine light and also due to an ABS light that basically never goes off. Well, you know, uh, while driving or, or with the engine idling. So, you know, so I already have my scanner already uh, hooked up to the uh, to, uh, to the OBD2 port and we have one code it's a C0035 left front wheel speed sensor circuit malfunction so in this video you know I'm going to show you guys how to uh, identify a prompt with the uh, with an ABS speed sensor using a scan tool uh, unfortunately you know this uh, scan tool does not allow me to view the uh, data for the ABS system you know so I'll be using uh, my other scan tool you know my Autoboss V30 to see the data on the speed sensors while driving you know so I'm gonna set up and then like I said I'm gonna show you guys a way to identify when you have a with the code like for example code with the you know with the wheel speed sensor problem this case you know we have one which is the left front wheel speed sensor all right all right guys you know so i'm gonna hook up and then you know show you guys this method all right guys you know so i already have my you know my uh my autoboss v30 scan tool you know hooked up to the vehicle you know so i'm, uh, I'm gonna hit the abs data list my data again communicating and i'm gonna select left right and rear uh, wheel speed sensors hit ok hit ok one more time all right so currently the vehicle is showing about five um, um, five kilometers per hour on both on actually three sensors I'm not sure if this is normal the vehicle right now is, is, is at idle so so here we go guys, you know, so I'm going to drive the vehicle and and confirm if there's a left front wheel speed sensor is actually at fault. So here we go guys. So you can see the right and rear uh, wheel speed sensor are actually uh, going up. And as you can see, our uh, left uh, front wheel speed sensor is not, is not really doing anything. It's stuck at five. So this is basically showing us that our code is uh, showing a proper fault at the left front wheel speed sensor. So you can see the right and rear are actually moving as I You know, as I drive the vehicle, they're actually responding. So this is basically showing us that that there is a uh, a fault code on this uh, left front wheel speed sensor. So the next thing is to uh, basically uh, check this uh this left uh, this left um, wheel speed sensor by first doing a a visual inspection to see you know if there's any uh, damaged wires to the connector you know for the you know for the sensor all right guys you know so the next step is to uh, lift the vehicle uh, take the wheel off do some inspections and and then do some you know some voltage uh, checks all right guys all right guys you know so I already have the you know vehicle jacked up and the wheels off already I already did a, a visual inspection first it seems that this is going to be an easy fix, depending if the customer wants me to, re, you know, replace the sensor. But basically, what I saw is that our harness to the to the wheel speed sensor is basically torn, as you can see. Both wires, either they got uh, torn uh, torn during a brake job. I'm not sure, you know, how they got torn, but it seems that you know something pulled uh, 
pulled it and and it caused these wires to to basically rip from the heart from the sensor so i'm going to show you real quick you know where the sensor lives for further um, research for anyone who are, you need or you know needs to know you know where this sensor lives basically Basically, lives around this area right here. Well, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure, you know, if, if the camera could pick it up, but it basically lives right here in this hole, uh, this area. So, so this is the reason why we have that code, the C0035, due to a torn harness to the sensor. All right, guys. So hopefully, there's a. Uh, this little video helps anyone to know how to determine if your wheel speed sensor is at, is at fault by using a, a scan tool that's able to see the ABS data live. Alright guys, so this is Eli the OBD Tech. Subscribe if you like.